Dan Hurd with Dan Hurd Prospecting here. I got a crazy phenomenon for you tonight. Floating gold. You want to see some gold floating on top of water? Want to learn why it happens? Want to learn how to prevent it so when you're panning out your gold, you don't have gold floating away on you? Stay tuned, I'll explain it all to you. And if you enjoy this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss an episode. Enjoy! three or four videos on my channel here, I'm going to be giving lessons on how to clean up your concentrates, how to recover the gold out of your black sands and get sort of clean, clean gold from your cons, from your black sand gold mixture. But before I can really go through that, I should talk about floating gold because, well, A, it's a really neat phenomenon, it's really neat to see, and B, it can be a problem. Now to start with, Let's show a little bit to you. I'm going to turn on my other camera here so you get a nice close-up of this gold floating on water. So I have this pan full of concentrates here and it's all black sand with a bunch of gold. I just moved a bunch of the gold off to one side right now. And here we'll put it over to this camera so you can see. Uh, a lot of nice gold, really, really fine gold here. And I'm going to show you with the gold how it will jump up to the surface and float on the water. And then I'll explain why it does that. So first, if I take that gold and tip the water off the top of it and let it dry out for just a second, it doesn't take long at all, and then slowly bring the water back on top of the gold, there it goes. You see the gold, or some of the gold, jumps up on the surface and starts floating. Floating on that surface tension. And there it goes, floating away where I don't want it. Spread it out a bit more, hopefully we can get a bit better island of gold going, dry it off for a second, bring that water back on top of it, there it goes, look at it, look at it go, look at how much gold just jumped up on that surface and is floating in a little island of gold now. Now this is a pretty extreme example of gold floating on water where I'm getting thousands of flakes floating all at once. Typically, you're going to see this just one or two flakes jumping up to the surface and floating around. But here, I'm, I'm able to force it into having hundreds, if not thousands, of flakes floating at once. Shake those all back down and in now. Like a little peanut right now floating on the surface. Now you can see here the big chunk of it floating, hundreds of pieces. Now it's doing that because the surface tension of the water is great enough to hold the gold on the surface. Gold has a neat property that it it's hydrophobic. It doesn't like water or it sheds water very easily. So once it's dry it wants to stay dry. It doesn't like getting wet again. So the surface tension of the water it doesn't break the surface tension. It doesn't let the water flow around a particle of gold. And therefore, when it's sitting on the surface of the water, it, the, the, the hard surface, that surface tension, won't break, letting the water flow around it and sink it in, and it just wants to stay floating on the surface. <laughs> You can also see it's not just the gold that floats, some black sands will float as well. You can see here the gold has collected up a bunch of floating black sand around its little island. So now why does the gold do this crazy floating dance it does? 
Well, that's because it's a property of the material itself, the gold material, that it sheds water easily. It's hydrophobic. It doesn't like water. And because of that, it gets rid of the water. It dry, when you dry it off like that, it sheds the water really quickly. And then when you try to get it wet again, it doesn't want to re-wet. So it goes up on the surface of the water on the surface tension, and the water doesn't want to flow around the gold again. Now some people will tell you that's because it has oil on it. That's not true. A little bit of oil on the gold will uh, accentuate this fact, but uh, gold will do this with no oil at all. It's just a property of gold. It doesn't like water. Now we can prevent this gold from floating, or at least reduce the amount or the chance of it floating by putting something like Jet Dry or a rinse agent out of a dishwasher. This stuff is designed to remove surface tension. That's why it doesn't leave spots on your dishes in the dishwasher. Uh, it doesn't allow the water to ball up because it has no surface tension. Same thing in here. It will remove the surface tension, which makes it so that the water will flow around the gold easily. If you put a little bit of jet dry into your pan, the gold will sink through the water way easier. There we go. Two or three drops and all my gold just sunk to the bottom. There's still some floating pyrites in there, some black sands. There's a little bit of gold, floating gold, but basically the gold just sunk because all of a sudden the water was given the opportunity to flow around the gold and the gold can sink. Gold is 19 times heavier than water. It should sink easily. It only floats up on that surface when it dries out and they can't break through that surface jet surface tension. So there we have it. Gold floats because of a property of gold itself that it sheds water easily, doesn't like to be wetted, and the fact that the surface tension of the water won't let the water flow around the gold particle. Oil does not cause this problem but adds to it and we can get rid of it by using a surface tension reducer like jet dry. Soap also works. Now, I am going to be taking all of these cons here, plus a bunch of more I have in the next three videos, and teaching you all about three different methods of panning out fine gold out of black sands. Those will be my next three videos. I'm going to start them right away. They'll be out on YouTube in the next few days, and then following along every few days after that. And one little bonus fact about floating gold like this is it will actually help in some mining operations. They use this property to actually extract the gold or separate the gold. It's called a flotation cell. And they purposely froth water through the gold concentrates with some chemicals to take the gold or whichever material that they're trying to separate at the time and float it to the top of the water and separate it off the top. They can use that property to concentrate minerals. I hope you enjoyed watching this gold float. I hope you learned how to stop it from floating. And I hope you watch my next few videos on how to clean up your gold. Thanks my patrons out there for supporting me. Please leave a like and a comment to this video. And until the next one, everyone,